Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Hey, tea sippers. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I am back with another podcast and I have my homegirl, Emily, here with me. Emily, say what's up to the people. Hey, everybody. All right. So you guys, I'm still hanging in there. I'm like, like, I want to do a podcast. I want to talk about stuff, but I'm kind of in pain, but I'm just going to, I'm going to work through the pain because I'm a trooper. Yeah. (laughs) I swear. But me and Emily were talking and it is so funny um, because it seems like every time me and you get ready to do a podcast, there's like always some type of peen leak. Mm -hmm. Like somebody's always just whipping out their damn beef stick. I'm like, a big one one too. (laughs) So I've been kind of laying down all day resting, you know, minding my business. Okay. And so as I'm just, you know, catching up on stuff that's been going on, um, you know, getting better and stuff, I just, I get hit in the forehead with a big ass Draco. <laughs> I'm like, what in the fuck? What, what, what the hell? I'm just trying to mind my business. I'm scrolling through Discord and it's like, bam. I wasn't expecting all that beef from Soldier Boy. Did I you see the pics? I, I seen it. And, you know, I'm not surprised because, you know, they say that about tall, skinny dudes, I guess, because he's so lanky. But mm. when I seen the picture, it was the same. I was like, oh. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> and you were like, "Who is that? Who is that?" Oh yeah, I god. didn't recognize him at first. I had to zoom in, and then I recognized the the face tattoos and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, talk about Soldier Boy. Tell him he's telling him all right. And um, I know. Well, I ain't going to be too vulgar about it. But no, I was shocked, though, because like I said, I was just about to do the podcast. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Every time I was like, let me get my glasses. Hold on. <laughs> you really don't need no glasses for this one at all. I'm no. just I'm impressed. I'm impressed, soldier boy. Yeah, I guess with the, the reason why his pen is out, right, because it's all over Twitter. I mean, it looks like it's a good nine inches soft. Yeah, but, he's, you know, I people tell me, I don't know, I don't measure right, so who knows? But um, they're saying the reason why his pain pick is out is because he started the OnlyFans. Well, I'm sure he'll be getting lots of traffic. Yeah, so he started the OnlyFans page, and he wants to encourage women to come join his OnlyFans. And he decided to give folks a sample by just pulling out his peen. So a lot of folks are running to join it. But again, it just goes to show you that a lot of these celebrities are still trying to do anything to get money. Yes, thirsty. And one thing I will say about him in particular is he does seem to understand how the Internet works. He knows Mm -hmm. what to get people talking. And with the whole even all the way back to the safari thing and then the Nick Cannon thing. He knows how to get his name trending. He knows how to get himself out there. So if he wants traffic on his page, he clearly knows how to do it. And I guess he's got the equipment to get people going. (laughs) (laughs) No, he definitely does, you know, and like, so all day on Twitter, it was called the soldier boy leak. So everybody's been passing around and it's so funny because I still look at him, even though he's 31, he looks so young. Like I still think he's like, 20, 21, you know, yeah. he, he has that little baby face and he acts so immature at times, He but, does, you know, so it's hard to even see him as a 31 year old man, but I just find that whole situation funny. I'm like, every time we get ready to do a podcast, every time. A yeah, I had watched a, um, old video. Cause I remember when the soldier boy Tom song came out, like how we really would all get around the computers and try to learn the dance and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was just looking at that video and I was like, even he does have a baby face, but you can tell how different he looks from like, he was really young when he first came out. So it is kind of hard to shake that image of being a kid, you know, cause yeah. he was so young when he first came out. Well, he's letting us know that he's all grown up now. He's we see grown. You, we see you, big Drake, though. We see, I see. you, daddy. That must, that must be why, what's his, uh, what's her name? I can't, Nia. Was it Nia? Was with him yeah. for so long? That's why she put up with all that shit. Right. Right, yeah. You know, someone will put up with a bunch of bullshit if the peen's good. I guess. But anyway, so now we're going to go ahead and switch <laughs> topics here. I want to talk about the whole Kanye West situation what is going on with Kanye? Now, he got this big booty white girl 
what's her name? Julia or something like that. Yeah. Julia Fox. Okay. Bang in shape. I'm not really sure where she came from. Azealia Banks is accusing her of being a cokehead, but you know, Azealia Banks has something to say about everybody. She but does. yeah, so he's been walking with this with this chick and arm in arm, and they've been kicking it. And then all of a sudden, it came out today that um, somebody's pressing charges a, a, on him because he punched a fan. A fan allegedly went to go ask Kanye for an autograph and he got mad and punched him. And so new video came out and I'm gonna play this for the audience where the guy's on the ground. So we don't see the punch, we just see the guy on the ground and Kanye's yelling at these two women who are, I guess, his assistants or something. And they're saying, Kanye, hold my hand, hold my hand. He's like freaking out, he's going off. So I'm gonna play that video really quick here. We begin with breaking news. The rapper formerly known as Kanye West is being investigated this morning by the LAPD for allegedly punching a man. CBS 2's Jasmine Vale joins us now with what detectives are looking into. Jasmine, good morning to you. Good morning, DeMarco. And this happened very early this mor morning. Kanye West, who now goes by Yee, is reportedly a suspect now in a battery report filed early this morning in downtown LA. According to the entertainment website TMZ, Yee got into an argument outside Soho where House, which is a members only club on South Santa Fe Avenue and Bay Street. He allegedly pushed, then punched a, ma a male fan who had asked for an autograph. The incident is being investigated as a misdemeanor battery, a charge that carries a maximum six months behind bars. Uh, the rapper reportedly left the scene before officers arrived, so they still need to talk to him. And so far, no one from Yee's camp has spoken out about this alleged incident. Just yesterday, he had been confirmed as a headliner for this year's Coachella Music Festival. So a lot on his plate. He dropped a new music video, new single, a new girlfriend. So unfortunately, DeMarco, this is a little bit of a setback. We're going to stay on top of the story, bring you any new developments as they come in. I'll send it back to you. All right, we'll see you then, Jasmine. Thank you for that. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Hey, man, I'm protecting us no, now. No, get away what? from me. I'm you protecting us now. I am your family. I am your family. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Ain't no hand. No, no. Who was supposed to talk to her? Why did he just do that? What is wrong with him? Can you please call the cops? Can you please call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please call the cops? <laughs> the commentary. <laughs> so what did you think of that video? You know, it's, I just really ain't here for TMZ. And I know Kanye has had a reputation of like spazzing out. And there's this whole narrative about him being, you know, crazy and bipolar and all this. But, and this is just my opinion, but I kind of feel like I, I kind of see through the bullshit. Um, and it, like I said, I wasn't there, so who knows? He could have spazzed out and punched, dude. But one, we're catching the tail end of it. And I've just noticed the patterns here recently mm -hmm. since everything going on with him and Kim. TMZ does not keep the same energy toward Kim that they do toward Kanye. Anything about Kim is always, oh, Kim was spotted on a boat with her, with who, what's his name, Pete Davidson, mm -hmm. and, you know, having a great time, or she's doing this, or they're posting that weird-ass elf shit, and just a, a bunch of stuff like that. But anything with Kanye, oh, Kanye is just so obsessed with Kim, and his right. relationship is fake, and this girl that he's with, that's all set up, and this girl's apparently a Kardashian mega fan, and it, it's just totally different energies, and I know that they say that the Kardashians really do control a lot of the media. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like it's kind of a smear pick. Not, I don't know if a smear campaign is the right word, but they just definitely have different energy toward Kanye than they do Kim. And with us just seeing the tail end, of, I want to see what happened before. Because right. you ain't just going to run up and punch somebody. And I've seen videos of Kanye before with people from the media. And yeah, he has spazzed out before. But also sometimes he's really cool. Like, I know you're just doing your job, this, that, and the third. So what right. made him do that? And then we got to look at the time, too. This was at 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, who the hell wants to sign an autograph at 3 a.m.? Like, sir, you should be in bed. Hell, I should be in bed. Like, don't, yeah. you know what I mean? Don't come up to me at 3 o'clock in the morning like, hey, can I get your autograph, man? Like, what is this, the 1990s? Like, you, you everybody has video cameras. Everybody has, you know, phones. Yeah. You just take a quick <laughs> 
picture and move on. Like who hell, who the hell is walking around with pen and paper to do an autograph? <laughs> right, <laughs> you know exactly. This is the nineties. Like that's what we did back in the day. But nowadays, nobody does autographs. People take pictures. You either take a picture or it didn't happen. That's like the saying on social media. Yeah. And what I also found funny, if you notice the guy, tell me he's not ready for a lawsuit. Oh, he's he's, he's ready. He's literally laying flat out on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, the, he's definitely doing the most. But and like I said, what could someone say? I mean, I'm just being like logical. But what could someone say to someone that, that makes no sense? Hey, can I have your autograph? And then boom, punch you, and then you laid out on the ground. And then Mister, can someone call the cops? You know, like come on now. Like, <laughs> it doesn't look really contrived. It's like he just gets punched, and he's making no attempt to get up. It's like. <laughs> No, I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm just going to lay here till the cops come just for the more dramatics. Yeah, can you someone know? take a picture while I'm down? Make sure you get me laying down. Right. Like, <laughs> it, it looked like a setup. It looked like they definitely were trying to, you know, juice it for what it was. Oh, yes. But, you know, if he punched him, he's definitely wrong. You can't go Absolutely. around hitting people. But, you know, I'm sure if if what they're saying is true, he probably did it for a reason. He probably was getting antagonized and messed with because he was really pissed off. And there's even a second video where the person is still recording through the fence and he's like yelling at his assistant. So he's definitely mad about something. Yeah, there's definitely more um, to the story, I, I believe. And uh, like I said, there's already kind of this whole narrative out there that he's crazy and uncontrollable and and this that and the third and uh you know everybody I, i'm not saying everybody suffers from mental illness but just because you're bipolar that doesn't mean that you're some psycho that's just going to run around and start beating up people and don't get me wrong right. if i got punched by a celebrity i probably sue him too so i ain't just you know like totally side on the dude who got hit but i think there's definitely more to the story and tmz clearly they have a they show who they uh side with with this whole yeah, and you know what speaking on media manipulation now me and you were talking about the whole tristan thompson situation last time so you remember last time when i was talking about the whole tristan knocking up the trailer trash trainer mm -hmm. and i kept saying her pictures just looked it weird she looked it dusty i just i didn't understand what was going on and so the lady ended up doing an interview, I want to say maybe with the Daily Mail, because I read it a few days ago. And she came out and she flat out said that the Kardashians or just whoever were putting out fake stories about her and were putting out fake pictures. Those were not her pictures. If you look at the original picture of the Marley girl, Marley, whatever her name is, and you see the pictures that's come out now that it's been proven that he's a father, it's two different women. Wow. This woman looks more Hispanic, um, really pretty, very fit, um, but it's not the trainer. same woman that they had first put out there. Oh, wow. They had been together. She had met him back around Easter's when they had started hooking up, but she's not a fitness trainer. She's oh. a fitness model. Oh, okay. So okay. they were trying to spin it in the media like she's just some type of trainer, maybe hired by the NBA and, you know she's broken closets or whatever, but she's like, no, I'm an Instagram model. I'm a fitness model. That's what I do. And so she was saying that those pictures that were put out there were not of hers. Um, Tristan was trying to, when she found out she was pregnant, he knew about it, but he was trying to ignore it. And he was trying to pressure her into having an abortion, which she refused. And so he thought because she lived in Texas, because in Texas, I guess they have clauses where you can only get so much for child support. So he thought he could file under Texas law, even though his primary residence is in Cali. But they ended up going off of where he lives and the fact that he's he makes like 100 million a year. So she's walking away right now. They're saying it's temporary. But she's going to get 40K a month in child support. Wow. So she hit the jackpot. Yeah, she did. And, you know, I remember when that first, all that was coming out. And he's like, I'm retired. I don't work anymore. So you're not getting any money. And nobody's stupid. Mm -hmm. And I remember you called that out. You're like, what? The, are, are you dumb? Like, you clearly right. can't think that she believes that. That she's not going to get any money from you. He was at, he was talking like he was like the head fry cook. Like I'm retired <laughs> now from my job making 15 an hour. You won't get anything. Like so you're in the NBA. You're not a fry cook. Yeah, no, he you, definitely you get tried money that. From endorsements, all types of shit. Like, like, what are you talking about? How dare you think she's not gonna get any type of money? And so they're saying that at this point, he's gonna be paying her 40k a month. 
He pays his first baby mama, Jordan Craig, 34K a month or so. And supposedly they try to say he pays uh, Chloe child support, but I don't believe that. Because Chloe has always said that she doesn't get child support because she doesn't need it. But he's at least coming out of pocket, I would say, close to 80 grand a month in child support. So if that's not a wake up call for some of these guys to not be as reckless, you know, like I, I feel no ways about him. He's trash. That's why I've been calling him Tristan third trimester Thompson forever. The shade room tried to remix it and they called him what they call him. Tristan something. They tried to say what I said and it just, it fell flat. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I just think the whole thing is just really trashy. And this child, when the child grows up, he has to see these text messages of his dad basically saying to get an abortion and you're not going to get any money and I'm not going to have nothing to do with the child. You know, so I like the fact that she came out and she kind of spoke her piece in that article and was like, you know, she just wants to be supported. She wants him to be there as a father. But if not, I mean, she, she got her bag. She's cool. Yeah, you know, and people can say, yeah, do you need 40K a month to raise a child? No. I mean, you have a lot of women who've done it with a fraction of that. Oh, but yeah. the point is the child is supposed to live the same type of lifestyle as the father. We can't have true Thompson and, you know, Prince, that's his other son. Can't have them living in the suburbs of Beverly Hills, going to the best schools, eating the best foods. And then we had this little new baby in the damn projects of Texas. Okay, can't have him in the project. <laughs> he needs to live in Woodland Hills. He needs to live <laughs> in the rich part of Texas. Okay, he needs to be taken care of just like the other siblings. So that is why. Now, I, you know, this is nothing new. And I don't understand how Tristan and other guys who have money, when you have things to lose, why do these men not think like, yes, this is a beautiful woman. Yes, she's willing to hook up or be a side piece. But you got to understand, too, like pregnancy at this point in time, especially with celebrities, it's a hustle. Child support is a hustle for some women. So they will snatch that condom out the damn trash can and inseminate themselves. Folks don't have no shame. And speaking of that, there is a viral story about Drake that went viral. What was that yesterday? Yeah. Where and I gotta read this. The story is like so crazy, and everybody was talking about it on Twitter. So basically, they're saying that an Instagram model is ready to sue Drake after he allegedly put hot sauce in a condom. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.